Hi guys, I'm S3D, and if you don't agree to those terms, I think it's time for you to go watch something else. Now, uh, this is going to be an unboxing of the Bandai Master Grade 1100 scale, double quanta full saber. Uh, this is the Master Grade kit, of course. Uh, this variant of the uh, uh, double quanta uh, never existed in the anime. Apparently, it's like a manga, uh, part of a manga, like... Just a side story. And the funny thing is, I actually read the manga. It's very weird. Okay, uh, this sword actually doesn't exist uh, in universe. Yeah, it's uh, the sword exists in a virtual simulation. Let that sink in. <laughs> a fiction within a fiction, I guess. And uh, yeah, uh, so basically uh, the full saber... This thing is called the Gian Sword 4. This is the Gian Sword 4, and this right here is a Gian Sword 5. Yeah. So this thing came before this. Makes a lot of sense, right? Anyway, so uh, the full saber is so powerful. Uh, basically, uh, they did the virtual simulation of, uh, you know, the, the combat that took place in the movie uh, Awakening of the Trailblazer. As you can see on the box right here, you see all these explosions, the ELS, the ELS. Uh, basically, the Quanta single-handedly annihilated all the ELS by itself uh, with the help of the, uh, well, with the, uh, the full saber system. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it helped from the other suits, but, uh, apparently the manga, well, I don't know, you, you, you gotta read the manga and then interpret it for yourself. Uh, it, it's very powerful. He, uh, he pretty much, like, they, they, they destroyed the entire else uh, forces. <laughs> I don't know if it's, like, implied that the Quanta did it all by itself, single-handedly, or did it have help from, like, you know, uh, the other Gundams. Or and you know the uh, Federation or the Earth forces or something what they call in the uh, uh, Anno Domini uh, universe, which technically is AD, which is supposed to be a fictional version of our universe. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That that's a double universe. It's AD Anno Domini. So yeah, it's unlike any other uh, uh, Gundam universes, I guess. It's, it's unique. So anyway, this is the uh, limited edition, uh, Double Quanta. And yeah, uh, in Japan, this thing is a P-Bandai. But in North America, they decided to uh, release as a limited edition retail. So there we go, limited edition retail. Again, like I'm saying, you know, a lot of stuff could be made into limited edition retail for the North American market. Uh, but I guess Bluefin just didn't don't want to do it because they're scared. Or something. Uh, I don't know. This thing was selling okay, I, I think. Uh, you know, a lot of it ended up on clearance at GameStop. But, you know, I, I guess people don't know uh, to go to GameStop to buy Gunpla back in 2018. So a lot of these were on clearance for like 25 bucks. Yeah. Uh, the double O, the Exxon Riser was uh, on sale for $13. Yes, the Master Grade. And this one was for 25 bucks. I remember buying like like the whole entire stock and just reselling them on eBay. Uh, I sold some of these to my friends. Um, in fact, this one is the one that I bought back from one of my friends. Uh, I sold it to him for 25 bucks. I bought it for 30 uh, because he, he never even built it. So, yeah, uh, it's still retailing for over like $60 right now uh, on eBay. So... It's a good deal, man. 30 bucks for a <laughs> Master Grey, brand new Master Grey. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the stuff here. So we got the full sticker here. I'm actually quite excited to build this kit uh, because I never built a Master Grey uh, double O kit before. Uh, I built a perfect Grey. Um, actually, no, I, I built Exia. Yeah, so never mind. I, I built the Master Grey Exia. I didn't like it. Uh, I never filmed it because it was a con commission. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is the foil sticker. Kind of remind me of the real gray stuff, so it's really not... In, uh, no, not, not the foil sticker. These are just the uh, stickers. These are the foil stickers. 
yeah, I mean, there's really nothing you can do when it comes to double O. You have to have these foil stickers uh, behind the GN drives and stuff like that, so whatever. Here we have dry transfers, which is pretty good. Here we go. Kind of hard to see. Right, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. Uh, yeah, so we got the GN Sword 4. Right there, you see that? GN Sword 4 Full Saber. Yeah, it, it's it's very confusing. I, I don't know why. Like, this thing is called the GN Sword 4. Shouldn't it be GN Sword 6? <laughs> GN Source 3 is the one on the double O uh double O uh riser. Double Gundam double riser. So yeah, this is GN Source 4. There we go. We have the GN Gunblade, GN Source 4 right there, rifle mode. He has several modes. Twin Edge, Blade Mode, Qatar mode, GN Launcher mode. Yeah. I can tell you for a fact that this full saber thing is gonna be a shit show. Uh, if you're gonna try to pose it on this model kit, but I'm not gonna use it on this model kit. I'm gonna use it with my Metal Bill Quanta. <laughs> the Metal Bill Quanta is gonna be able to hold it. I'm uh, I'm actually gonna trying to retrofit the GN Sword 4 and the backpack onto my Metal Bill because I don't know when Bandai is ever gonna make the uh, you know the uh, uh, the Seven Sword, the GN Sword 4 thing add-on for the, uh, you know, the Metal Build Double Quanta. And most likely it's probably gonna be a P-Bandai, so, yeah. So I'm just preparing. And you can see right here, all the Master Grade kits are rated for ages 15 and up. So from what I understand, uh, the SD and the HG High Grade are rated eight, ages 8 and up. So you're importing this stuff from Japan, like if you buy from like HLJ. You know, I, I know a lot of people uh, buy from HLJ because a lot of people watch Mecha Gaikosu. So if you're importing them, you don't get the Bluefin sticker. I say the product is rated for uh, uh, ages 15 and up. And I'm pretty sure like child advocacy groups are gonna be like, oh, there we go. Now we have ammo to uh, say that the shit is kid content. You know, the thing is, all my HG videos, a lot of it have been uh, marked as kid content. And uh, I actually been told by a lot of YouTubers that if you change uh, the category, trying to change all your category back into not for kids, uh, that would signal you'll get flagged by YouTube for trying to abuse like the system. And that's subjected to immediate termination. So I'm just gonna let those videos sit there for a while until they figure out, you know, if it's kid content or not. <laughs> Nobody can watch it if it's privatized. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the stand right here. Uh, you, you can't get in trouble for something that nobody can watch. Uh, there we go. Uh, we have the, uh, well, it includes the action base. Uh, this is the action base 5, actually. Uh, yeah, this is the high grade version of the action base. So you use this to uh, prop up that GN Sword 4. Yeah, pretty sure that's what it's used for. Yeah, but my metal bill will be able to hold it. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a comparison between the Master Grade and the Metal Bill. I mean, if you guys already know, uh, if you guys seen the Metal Bill, uh, the Master Grade is nothing compared to the Metal Bill. Like, in terms of detail and everything, the Metal Bill just wins. Straight up, hands down. Anyway, uh, we have the K-Runner here. These are inner frame parts. We got the parts for the backpack. Uh, this is actually new here. I think this is uh, 2018. Yep. This is the uh, upgraded new runner for the uh, GN Sword 4 and the backpack and this one here is 2010 because the Quanta is close to ten, uh, the Quanta is technically 10 years old now in 2020 it's an old kit uh, yeah it's time for 2.0 <laughs> it's a kind of based on the uh, Exia technology the 2010 Exia so it's not good. It's, it's not like the, uh, the, uh, the, the GM frame from the uh, uh, Dynamis. So again, this is a duplicate of this runner right here. We have two of these. These are just leg armor part, uh, inner frame parts, all 2010. Yeah, polycaps. Yeah, awesome polycap technology right there. <laughs> uh, this is also a runner. This is from 2010. There we go. You don't really get too much new stuff here, just the uh, the full saber. So I think this is a duplicate. Yeah, this is more inner frame parts. 
Uh, this is also an old uh, part. This is funny. This is like uh, uh, the base for the old kit. So there we go, 2010, more inner frame parts. Uh, the LED uh, backpack thing. Yeah, the, the Gundam LED also need an update because this thing is freaking garbage. Literally, 100% trash. Okay, 2010, uh, old runner here, more inner frame parts. And we have armor parts, the blue parts. So this is actually new. Uh, one of them is new. This is new right here. This is the full saber. Uh, the uh, GN Soul 4 part, 2018. Very nice. I wonder how awesome the uh, if, if they do the metal build GN Soul 4 add-on set. I, I wonder how uh, how detailed that thing is going to be. <laughs> No, no information. They haven't talked about it in years. Uh, the Quanta came out in late 2017, and we hear nothing. So I, I don't think it's happening anytime soon. 2010. This is the uh, old armor parts. You even got the uh, old backpack, so you can make the old Quanta, the 2010 version. Uh, you get two sets of V-fin with this guy. You get the old style V-fin. Uh, this is the old style V-fin from 2010. So there we go, this is armor part, we have Setsuna right here, or Soran Ibrahim. That's his real name. He's a kid from Kruges, the Middle East. Uh, there we go. Uh, 2010, made in Japan. Uh, B-Runner, two B-Runners. This is uh, 2010, 2010. There we go. Armored parts. Uh, here's the new part. This is for uh, 2018. This are the new GN Drive backpack. Uh, new V fin parts for the full saber. GN Sword 4 2018. Here we have uh, old parts here, effect parts, clear parts. 2010. Uh, we have this thing to hold the GN Drive. Very cool. Again, more armor parts, D Runner. The runner. There we go. 2010, 2010. Very cool. I mean, not cool. It's just you know, do your usual. These are new. These are for the uh, GN Sword 4. So there we go. GN Sword 4, 2018, 2018. Yeah, th these are those little blades thing. Yep. And more armor parts. Again, this is GN Sword 4. Yep, there we go. I think I'm gonna build a GM Sword 4 first. And I think this is also, uh, this is all, this is for the, uh, the GM Sword 5 and the clear uh, condenser parts. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the manual. Uh, yeah, glad that this thing is in like monochrome. <laughs> Very nice. So there we go, we have all the parts. I think this is gonna be a fun build. The Exia was a fun build. Unfortunately, the kit itself, it, it, can, it can barely stand. It, it needs to be on the action base. Otherwise, this thing is just a shit show. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool, but it's a brick. And I'm pretty sure this guy is going to be a brick too. Because uh, it's based on the old technology. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about the, uh, you know, them redoing all the uh, double O kits. Uh, the Master Grace because uh, it definitely needs a new frame. All, all the uh, double O kits, the double O Gundam, double O Riser, uh, the uh, uh, the Quanta, the uh, the Exia, they all need uh, 2.0s. This kit technically, well, no, I take it back. It, it's the same. Like everything looks like the Exia, so it's it's gonna suck. The build's fun. But the uh, the uh, the uh, result, the final result, it's uh, it's less than you know amazing. If you're not using an action base, if you're just planning on posing it on the table, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like you're gonna spend hours just fiddling around with this stupid GN Sword Four, try to get it to hold the GN Sword Four. And how do I know that? Well, I sing one in person, and I sing how frustrating it is to uh, pose this thing. That's why I opt for the metal build. <laughs> so, but I still want to build this one just you know to get 
to uh, to do the sword to put it on uh, to give it to my metal build. Yeah, not bad. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, if you are lucky enough to get this kit for uh, 60 bucks, under $60, uh, I think you're very fortunate. <laughs> uh, I, th I think it's still worth the money, just because, you know, it, it, the overall build is not bad. Uh, all the double O builds were fun builds. You know, that's the reason why you build model, buy model kits, because you enjoy building them. <laughs> um, other than that, you know, the, the end result isn't always, like, you know, amazing or anything okay so I think that's pretty much it for this video um, I'm probably gonna get start building but uh, it's probably gonna take a while I'm, I'm still like you know waiting for the whole YouTube situation to resolve itself or never so uh, the, the video will be coming in the next couple months <laughs> yeah. that, that's the best I can uh, uh, that's the best answer I can give you guys because nothing is certain right now and uh, you know, e even like a couple hundred dollar fines is a big deal. It's either fines or termination. And like YouTube doesn't tell you anything. I mean, but everybody knows that already. You know, they they just do whatever they want, and then uh, you you just you just take it. <laughs> you just take it, man. As a content creator on this platform. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah. There will be content eventually, at some point. Okay, there we go. That's the unboxing for the uh, Master Grey uh, 100 scale uh, double quanta full saber. Thanks for watching.